Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and we are here to do your daily vibes for Friday, February 9th. We will just see whatever comes up. We are going to start with this deck right here. Happy Friday. Suffering in silence. Many of you have been going through some sort of mental anguish, maybe dis depression, maybe feeling um, at a loss for some reason. But you know, it's, it's really, that is in the past, okay? This suffering that you've been going through, it's in the past. You know, even though it's happening, it doesn't mean that you can't be content, okay? There could be some kind of nostalgia here or memories from the past, memories of love. This is the Six of Cups. I, you know, I feel like for some of you, there is some kind of reunion, perhaps, maybe with somebody from a past life, and or it could be a past relationship, or it could be somebody that you've known a long, long time ago, okay? Doesn't mean that you dated them. It could be. I feel like there is some kind of perhaps a commitment that ha is going to come about or is coming about or is in your life now that um, you are reminiscing. You're reminiscing about the love or you're feeling the love after a period of suffering, okay? You've been through some sort of suffering and perhaps now, today, or in the near, near future, it could even be the 10th. It could be tomorrow, okay? Because this is a 10. So anyway, there, but that, because today or tomorrow, okay? So anyway, I feel like there is some kind of um, reunion, perhaps, with somebody from your past. And if you're with somebody now, this could be a reconciliation, all right? Either way, it feels like there's been some suffering and it's there's a, a renewal of love that is is that is basically the ultimate achievement in your life after a period of suffering. Um, there's a lot of success to be had here. Okay, this is a successful day. All right, this is the Ace of Swords. So. You know, it's a day, it's a day of awakening, it's a day of truth, it's a day of power. So it's a very powerful day. Um, I really feel like today is a day of some kind of reunion, alright? Some kind of reunion. It could be somebody from a past life, I'm not sure. Um, where there's a firm foundation and achievement um, because of it, because of this suffering. Believe it or not, when you suffer, it teaches you something even though you know nobody wants that that's what happens okay you're going through some sort of learning process when you're suffering um and i think you've really been just waiting 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 for something to happen and perhaps today is the day where you receive this truth you receive this power you receive this wake up call that you've been waiting for this awakening um, yeah, many of you are releasing an ex and because of that, you're building a new foundation. That's what's going on. You're using your sword. You're releasing an ex. You're clearing away the energy that has made you suffer and building a new foundation elsewhere. I think it's a day of peace and harmony and togetherness, some kind of reunion. And I really feel strongly about a reunion here. It just keeps coming to my mind. I don't ever use this word, reunion, so I don't know where that's coming from. Um, the Union of Hearts. There is a combination of love. There is a connection of love that defies explanation. 
It's true. I think there is somebody, perhaps from a past life, or or even the past, your past, that is is come into your life to relieve your suffering and for you to relieve theirs. That's what this reunion is. It's where you both are able to release and go forward into a firm, solid commitment. You know, that's what I see. I think there's a reunion between two people that were been together before. That's what I see. Interesting. Oh, I think that you guys, many of you have been through a period of suffering and just just wondering, doing some soul searching, what's, what's next for me? What's next to, for me? I think there's been some trouble with an ex and now you've finally come to the point where you've released him. You've released this ex completely. And now that you've released this ex, you're, the, for some of you, your true love is here and it's like you've known this person before. You have. I feel like you have known this person before. You've been with them. You've been with them maybe even in another life. Okay, there's somebody from your past, there's a new reunion here where you can build a firm, solid foundation and commitment that could even lead to marriage. And I feel that's after a release. There's been a release. This is a nines of release, closure. There, there's there been some sort of closure in your life. Like I said, suffering earlier, I was explaining it, that has taught you something. Maybe it's strength even. You know, has given you strength. Whatever has happened, this silence, this, this, this suffering has happened. Whatever has happened has given you the tools that you needed to actually release and move on. And now that you have reached this point of release, you're ready for this union. Reunion, as I was saying. I was saying reunion. But anyway, this reunion is now on its way, okay, or here now. And I feel like this is all is well. It's divinely guided. Um, it's the right time, and it could lead to a, very, a lot of uh, solid, firm foundation, commitment, um, and love. Okay, there's a, there's a love that you can, is undeniable. I'm gonna read this card again. There's a connection of love that defi defies explanation. The union of hearts, and it is. There's a, there's a connection here that is. unknown okay it's it's unbelievable it's uh this could be a life partner type of relationship where you know it leads it's something that you can't deny okay it's undeniable this is from the archangel michael deck keep your eyes on your targeted intention my prayer thank you archangel michael for helping me focus on my inner vision and intention. I ask for your guidance in releasing any fears or doubts, granting me the confidence and courage to take action towards realizing my dreams. I feel like many of you have been feeling a lack of confidence, a lack of courage because of the suffering that you've been through. And now is the time to let that go, to have the confidence in yourself, to have the courage, and to move forward. I feel like there's somebody in your life that has is, the, is here to offer commitment, okay? And you are being called to let go of your fears, okay? Your fears stem from your ex. I mean, that's what it is. So I feel like this suffering was not in vain. And here it comes today or tomorrow that's what I see and if this isn't for you it's because you haven't you haven't released you haven't healed okay if you've really really healed then this reading is for you I feel like there is a new commitment on the horizon with someone that you have known before most likely for me I feel this is a past life, a past life connection. This is what I have. Talk to you later.